Hey everyone, Aaron O'Hara here, and I'm back with another exciting Polar Next editing challenge. Today, I was given the task of editing a full one hour engagement session in just five minutes. Editing a one hour engagement session can take quite a bit of time, taking anywhere from five to seven hours. And I would say the bulk of it is just spent in Lightroom, getting all the images looking consistent in color and exposure. So today we're gonna see if we can't take that five hour editing time and cut it down to just five minutes. Hopefully by the end of this video, you'll not only have witnessed how responsive and fast Polar Next AI works alongside you, but also gain confidence knowing that regardless of how fast this program works, you maintain 100% creative control over your edits. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So we got five minutes to edit this one hour engagement session. I probably shot around 770 images during this shoot and I was able to cull it down to around 150 images. Some of you would, would say that's a little bit too much, but that's just kind of how I roll. I've already converted all the .NEF Nikon RAW files to DNGs. And if you are a Nikon user as well, I would highly recommend you download the Adobe DNG converter. It is free and when you convert them, you're not gonna experience any quality loss or anything. It's just Polar Next doesn't really play nicely right now with Nikon files. Just convert them to DNGs and you'll be golden. All right, I've got my timer all good to go. Let's go ahead and get started, three, two, one. And the first thing we're gonna do is go to next dot polar dot com and in the top right you can click access beta and you're gonna be able to open up our access our open access beta and uh, as you can see down there our version has already changed version 4.4 and what's new is on the left side there is an explore tab and when you click this explore tab you can check out the six different pre-trained ai styles and you can click into any of them and i'm going to go into tender today and you can play with these sliders to see how this style is gonna look on some sample images. Now, Tender encompasses a gentle palette of colors with subtle adjustments that enhance photos with a soft, affectionate aesthetic. It's ideal for portraits, intimate settings, and this style adds a touch of warmth and tenderness to every image. In the top right, you can click Use AI Style, which we're gonna do today. And the first thing you're gonna do is add in your project. There's my DNGs. We're gonna click edit files and it's gonna import images lightning fast, literally less than what, like five seconds there. And it's gonna start editing your images. Now this is different than when you create a new project because what you're doing was when you're creating a new project, you're creating a new AI style and it's gonna, it's gonna suggest like five, 10, 20 reference images for you to edit your style in so that it can apply it to the whole project. When you do it this way, you've already selected a pre-trained style, so it's gonna add it all the way through. Now, I've got about 100 images left to process. I don't have to wait until that's finished to start editing because I could just call it a day, images are done, yeah, they're edited, but I'm actually gonna go in and dial them all in because they're still not quite my style. I like to have negative uh, 11, negative 15 clarity, I like to warm it up just a little bit more, maybe bring down the contrast and the shadows a bit, bring down the blacks a little. There we go. And then we're gonna crop this a little bit more. I like having that horizon straight and having them centered. And as you can see, there's about 40 images left to process. We're just gonna go ahead and start marking our references so that it dials in our look even more. So now it's back up to 130 images processing. And as you notice, going through all these images, there is no lagging, there's no delays. Polar Next is working fluid and fast, and I absolutely love it. I was just in Lightroom today and I was editing some personal photos and I was just so disappointed at how slow it was moving from image to image, trying to sync my looks and sync my images and use my presets. And I was just like, oh man, I just want to bring them all into Polar Next to edit because it's so fast and fluid. All right, and so there we go. It looks pretty, pretty good. After we dialed in that first image, we can mark some more references. And of course you can click on this purple diamond and see all the references you've marked. And uh, what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna go down. I'm gonna look at the film strip and just look out for the images that seem like really 
you know, dark or really overexposed that really isn't matching the consistency. Uh, maybe look for some images that aren't um, cropped the way I want. But for the most part, I mean, what we're about, we got a minute and 28 seconds left. I mean, we've already done a lot of the work, or I should say Polar Next has done most of the work. And all I have to do is just go in and crop. Like that is crazy. Um, let me see here. Yeah, it looks really good. We're gonna we're gonna fast forward a little bit. I want to see some more images here. Just make sure, yeah, the color is looking consistent. You can see the before and after, and you can see in the bottom left here the AI style. Um, these are all the times that I marked references. So this is the very first edit when we when we clicked use AI style. This is after the first reference photo. This is after the second reference photo, and it's not Frodo photo. And so it's dialed in more to how I like it. And we can just, man, hit that as a reference and really just get it dialed into where we want. So we got about 30 seconds left. Before I end this video, I want to share with you guys a cool new feature that we also added into Polar Next. And it is a long awaited feature that a lot of photographers and creators have been asking us for. And so I introduce you all to the brush mask. So let's say we add in a sky mask, okay? And look how fast it adds it in. Now, unfortunately, um, it's not quite as dialed in. You got a little bit of overflow of the mask here. What we can do is add a subtraction brush and we can just get in there and just brush away all that overflow. If you wanna up the feathering there, you can certainly do that. And then we just brush away that overflow. You can use your wheel mouse to make the brush smaller, to get into those hard to reach areas. There we go. Just get it off the shoulders there and we'll get it off her shoulders. Nice. There we go. Get it off Koholave because we only just want to affect the sky. Or maybe you want to, you know, fill in the island down there. Let's go ahead and add, um, use the adding brush. There you go. And then we just add it in. Just like that we go to the other side brush it in and for time's sake i'm not going to fill in those little crevices there um, but i definitely would if i was really taking my time on it and now as you can see everywhere where we've brushed plus the sky mask is getting affected so this is something that i'm super excited about I f it feels more complete inside of me knowing that i've got those features in there and um, man, our developer um, engineering team is really just cooking, um, cooking back there. So make sure you give some props to the development team. But um, as you can see, I mean, the styles applied, everything's looking good. In five minutes, we've got our engagement session um, edited and I just got to go through, dial in some things. Um, you know, I've got some people here in the background, but that's, you know, something that I would um, take care of in Photoshop. You know, after I'm done um, editing the color and adding my preset style and everything to Lightroom, I would just export it all and then bring the ones I need to, um, you know, take people out, put it into Photoshop. And that's pretty much the same thing that I do with Polar Next, um, except it's so much faster than Lightroom. And I hope you enjoyed this video editing this one hour engagement session in five minutes. And that's a wrap for today's Polar Next editing challenge. We took on the daunting task of editing a one hour engagement session in just five minutes. And I must say, Polar Next AI absolutely rocked it. Remember, editing doesn't have to be a marathon anymore. Thanks to Polar Next, we've turned those five to seven hours of editing in just five minutes while maintaining your own personal style and I hope this video has inspired you to try something new. Polar Next is completely free to try for yourself. And if you find how you like, how your images look editing in our program, then I would say it's definitely worth checking out the different pricing options that we've got going on. Like our Founders Unlimited plan, you can get unlimited editing and exports for just $588 per year. Now, if you enjoyed this challenge, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to make sure you don't miss out on the next challenge. Your support means the world to us. So until next time, keep shooting, keep editing and keep pushing boundaries. Thank you for joining me today and I will catch you all on the next one.